Hello, my name is Amanda Cawthon and I'm one of the Youth Services Librarians at the Bluegirl Public Library. And today I'm going to give you some ideas for um, things you can do with the supplies you got from your Masquerade Mask Craft Kit. So um, when I was buying supplies for the kit, I neglected to order an extra mask for myself to use as a sample. So I had to use a paper one that I cut on our Ellison die cut machine at the library. So I've got a plain white paper mask. So y'all's are going to come out a lot nicer than mine because you have the fancy masks. Um, now, this is how mine came out at the end, and this is all using some of the supplies you guys have in your kit. So we've got lace, um, paint, some little rhinestones, feathers, and you guys have one or two other things maybe in your kit that I don't that I didn't have with mine. Um, so let's get started. I'm going to show you all of the different things. Yours does not have to come out looking like mine. This is just to give you an idea of some of the things you could do. Let's get started. In your kit, you'll have a mask, a small paintbrush, a sponge brush, you'll have some lace, and I think you'll also have some gold ribbon. You'll have some rhinestone stickers, and yours may be different colors like mine, or they may be all of one color. You'll have a tub of gold paint and black paint, and last, a packet of feathers. Your kit will also have an elastic band that you can use to wear your mask. The first thing you're going to want to do is find a piece of paper to protect your work surface. Then you can start painting. I decided to start with the gold color first because it's always a good idea to start with the lighter colors if you're going to be using the same paintbrush. For covering large areas, I prefer to use a sponge brush because it works faster. Later when I do smaller details, I'll use the small brush. And I only do one coat of paint here, but for the gold, I would recommend you use two coats because it comes out a little bit transparent. I wanted to make half of my mask gold and half black, so now I start painting the other side. One thing I would suggest doing is waiting for each color to dry in between because later as I was painting, I noticed that I had trouble holding my mask in place because um, the gold paint was still wet. So be more patient than me and wait for it to dry in between colors. Once I finished the left side of the mask, I had learned from my mistake and I did leave it to dry. You can see that the line in between the colors is a little bit messy, but I didn't worry about that because I knew I was gonna cover it up. For this next step, I used a glue gun and you can try that or if you have craft glue or all purpose glue, you can use that instead. But I wanted to put some feathers on and I knew a glue gun would be the strongest hold I could have. So make sure you plug it in with plenty of time to heat up, decide the positioning and then lay it in place. If you do use hot glue, make sure you're being careful not to burn yourself because just like the name says, it is hot. Next, I added some of the little rhinestone stickers. They are self-adhesive, so you don't need any glue for this step. Just peel them off and stick them on where you want. Then I tried to figure out how I wanted to use the lace. Depending on what kind of glue you have, you could try layering it over the mask. And that would make a cool effect, but I decided that I was gonna use it to make an embellishment just at the corner, like a little bow. So I practiced folding it how I wanted it and I trimmed it to the right size and then I very carefully added it to the corner with the hot glue. The trick here was to not press directly on the lace with my finger onto the hot glues because I didn't want to burn myself so I used the sponge brush. And last, I added some more embellishments to the mask with the paint. So um, I started with the gold so that I wouldn't have to wash my brush. And you can see here that I used the back of the brush instead of the actual bristles so that I could use them to make little dots. So use your materials creatively. One thing to keep in mind is that acrylic paint dries very quickly. So you always wanna make sure to wash your brushes if you're gonna leave them sitting for any time at all. Because if you do wash them, you can keep using these brushes over and over for acrylic paint. But if you don't, they pretty much become unusable. And that's it, our mask is done. So if you have leftover supplies, I hope that you hang on to them and reuse them in the future for other crafts. And if you did make a mask today, please post it on Instagram and tag us at Fluger Teens so that we can see what you made.